All right, well, she's running. We'll take a further cruise. But we gotta do the, uh, get that rag top up first, guys. Right, test drive results. She's running good, guys. Sounds good. She's strong. Thought I'd take a minute to go ahead and uh, do a walk around, kind of show you guys Goose, and uh, give you a little introduction. So here you go. Goose is a uh, 1956 oval window rack top. When I got her, she was a rolling chassis that was gutted. She had the uh, body work was already done, paint was already done, and uh, the glass is already in. I did the interior, rebuilt the rag top, painted all of the uh, all of the framework inside. Let me go ahead and shut her down for a second while we go over this stuff. I painted the. Uh, all of the uh, framework for the rag top, we did that. Installed the visors. I've done all the interior. The interior is from SoFine. And uh, it was not cheap. But as you can see, we're looking at it. It's a gorgeous interior. That little thing right there is crap. <laughs> if you're going fast, it does not stay in place. I might need to tighten it up or something, but it was bothering me anyway with my foot. The stance was super low, and then I brought it up a little bit, if you can even tell, but uh, I like it where it is now. She rides good, and she does not bottom out whenever I'm going through uh, going through anywhere that has like a little dip into it or whatever. Any of you guys that ride beetles low to the ground know that... Uh, know that uh, that they will bottom out. Somebody's got a dog out here playing around. She's been to one show so far and she did pretty good. You know when you start working on these things it's it's a constant uh, constant love affair. And I love this car. The original owner is from California. And there's our engine. And um, brought the car to Austin, where he sold it to somebody that lived here in the uh, Houston area. He didn't have a chance to do anything with it, so I bought it as is and have gone through it and got her back on the road, guys. I just put this wire cover in not too long ago. I need to get a spare tire for her. Haven't done that yet. But yeah. The bumpers are just single blades. I kind of countersunk in the hardware on that so it was a little more flush. Original body and chassis, but uh, not the original engine. The engine is out of a, a 1966 Beetle, and it came with the car. I guess the guy had gotten it from somebody that had a Baja that he had wrecked, or a rail that he had wrecked. No longer needed the engine, so cool beans. Aaron Smith is the original owner, and uh, Aaron, she's looking good, buddy. I'm taking care of her, and I love her. So, another cool thing about these 56s, and uh, earlier and a little bit later models too, is you had this little reserve lever for your gas tank. Uh, 
I won't be running heat on the car because I'm in Houston and I, I drive her when she's nice, man, when it's nice outside. I might pick up some heat tubes eventually, but um, for now, I don't, I don't need them. I don't think I'm ever going to go back original with this car. She's always going to be a, a little bit of a hot rod. In my other videos, I talked about uh, starting to collect the components for a big engine build. I'm not sure yet what size I'm going to do. That's uh, more to come on that. But I got some of those CB44 heads. All right, guys. There she is, Goose. The color is polar silver. I don't know if it's original to the car. I don't think so. But it is original or period correct for that uh, that year. That's my baby. Got any questions, comments? Go ahead and reach out, man. Let me know. That's uh, Jason with a JW Classic VW. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, more content to come, guys. All right, bye bye. Sounds good. Starting good. Back to the garage. I'm cleaning up some. Made it home. All right.